Yeah, Two it's years. a long time for for a high athlete level, uh, for a high level athlete, and um, so it's time now to 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 achieve the last step. Well, we've got uh, Vassil Milenchev uh, refereeing this one, and I get to say, for the last time in 2016, fasten your seatbelts. It's sabre time. <laughs> and the stuff very quick, very quick. <laughs> Straight out of the box, he is a pocket rocket. I mean, look, he's a little bit shorter than Samelli, but he's, he's pretty stocky and sturdy. He moves around pretty fast, though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah the Korean guy is like a machine, and uh, now uh, Samelli has to find how to break this machine. Well, the Korean machine is working very well. He started every match, certainly from the round of uh, 32, very, very fast, very, very well, and caught out every opponent. Uh, and then just, in certain cases, managed to cling on. Uh, but here, he's done the same thing again. You would have thought that after uh, his uh, fight, his amazing battle in the 32 with uh, Luca Caratelli, the world number 22 from Italy, he went 8-0 up, took them to the break with the Italian all at sea. Somehow the Italian got right back into the match um, and uh, he got to 14 all only for Lee to score that final hit. You would have thought that perhaps the Italian coaches uh, would have prepared Samelli a little bit better than this? I think yes, for, for the top two he's prepared now. He knows, he knows uh, it will be hard to, to win this competition and um, even if the Korean guy is very impressive. Well, he certainly made uh, everyone stand up and stare. I'm looking down uh, onto the floor just in front of me, and we've got oh, the, the top coaches in the world all standing here, all waiting, all looking uh, at this young Korean, preparing already for uh, what they might have to face at future competitions. As they know, all coaches now know there is a, a new customer. <laughs> <laughs> on the platform and uh, yes I think we have to count on, on this guy now for the future and yeah one one stronger one strong very strong guy uh, is, is born yeah an another strong another career. one yeah uh, you were with us earlier on you may have heard uh, Matthias Jabo talking about the uh, Korean setup they have a, a sort of a uh, level one, a grade A setup where the top fencers train all together at the Olympic uh, facility in Seoul, Korea. Well, this chap is from the second string of Koreans. They train in a completely separate facility, isolated from the main team. So they have to really be hungry to make it into that team. And we're going to see uh, Vasil Malenshev um, card Lee here. He started early. It's a big advantage in Sabre, isn't it? Yeah, this is a, this is a Korean style. They, they are very fast and uh, they play on this because sometimes, sometimes they, they start too early. Not only, not only Lee, but all Korean guys uh, start too early and uh, referee has to be vigilant. They kind of take the, the cards as a sort of... Uh, they just accept that they're, they're going to get cards because of their style of fencing? I'm sorry? They just accept that they're going to get carded because of their style of fencing. They won't change their style. They won't slow down, will they? Yeah, 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 exactly. Now, Sonelli started slowly. Um, well, everyone starts slowly when you're up against a Korean, relatively speaking. But he's got himself right back into this. Yeah, but he has a nice reaction now. He, he, he needed the first two hits to just to adapt and now he has changed uh, his game. He starts very slowly. He can do some power repost and he can also switch with on a good attack on preparation because he's very strong also on his legs. Yeah, he is very strong on his legs. Now, the legs are what, what uh, Vasil Malenshev there in shots looking at. He's looking at the video replay. Lee is claiming that uh, Samelli uh, put his foot down on the piece before he landed the hit, which means the attack is over and Lee gets the point. So it's up to Vasil Malenshev to make that decision. He's decided, in fact, Samelli landed the hit at least at the same time, if not before the foot. So the foot is the defining factor for the end of the attack in Samelli. Both go at each other there. Samelli looking for a block after his attack. But yeah, uh, very powerful, very massive attack and very powerful with a strong arm. Oh and wow. now. 
It's a super power pass there from Lee. Yeah, it's it's a kind of trap because he starts he starts a very very, very quick. Uh, he, he wants to make uh, believe his opponent. He goes in simultaneously, and at the last moment, he does a power repost. Yeah, and you saw on the replay as, as uh, Lee takes us to the break at eight five. You saw on the replay of that trap you were talking about. He stepped in, and as he was taking the power, he was leaning right back and trying to evade the attack coming through, yeah. even though he got exactly. You're right. As well. You're completely right. This is a very nice. A notion of distance and uh, probably he has repeated this, this action thousands and thousands of times in, in training sessions and uh, yeah now it's the right moment to 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 set up on the piste and uh, and that works that works and he followed it up with the eighth hit for the career and was this beautiful attack here's the lean back and finding that parry uh, on the replay and then it's the last moment they are very close but it's it's really really well done because it's a perfect time to to do this is a 200 percent trap yeah <laughs> and, 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 and clearly the uh, director likes that hit as well showing it time and time again that because it was it's it's such a good feeling of distance to be able to step in and in fact your legs are too close but you know that you have to get your body away because that's where the target is yeah yeah, yeah. that's why i repeat uh, the Korean guys are, are very nice athletes before being uh, fencers and they have very, very, very big, massive skills. Well, referee is going to give that to uh, Lee. Vasil Milenshev is being asked to go and have a look at the video by Luigi Semeli this time. Semeli needs to find a way into this fight. Now, sometimes with the replays, they're beautiful to watch, but they start just a little bit too close to the final action, so you can't really tell too much about who started the action because that's that's the key thing right the referee is looking to see who starts the attack yeah but that's why that's why I, I prefer the distance before because because uh, now you know the distance that change and uh, the guys at the start are very close and it's very difficult to to know who attacks yeah, they brought the fences uh, one metre closer together than they used to be last season. And that's uh, making a difference to how quickly the actions happen in the middle. Uh, it's me that... Uh, it, they, you look a little bit foolish uh, when you make a tactical decision like that to step in and go for a pair of posting. Maybe it looks a bit dark to, to those unknown. But Lee had decided to try and do that first. It didn't work. He will adapt. So... He's never finished because, you know, uh, Samele is able not to give up. Yeah, the logical tactical circle, the decisions at the moment are being correctly made by Samele. Three in a row there. Again, Lee looking for a trap, but he goes tumbling down onto the piece, and we know that earlier on he injured his front uh, ankle. It's a slight twist of the ankle, but maybe that's playing on his mind. Uh, that's when I actually walks over and says, listen, you have to get up, we're on TV, you're showcasing your sport, we can't have you lying down, do you want the doctor or not? He says, no, I'm all right, so yeah. we get on. Yeah, no, it's okay, no problem for his uncle. Just, uh, just a little recovery. You know, sometimes, sometimes you don't have anything, but you need some recovery also. Of course, so to rest your mind. Okay, just a few seconds. And yeah, of course, he looks all right. Showing the line, and he does just retracts it at the last minute, looking for a parry. But uh, Samelli's he's just too experienced to. Uh, yeah, he's very experimented, and uh, that can be the difference at the end of the match. The current guy seems to be now lazy. I don't know. Oh, what's the referee going to give him? No, the line is incorrect. Yeah, no point. So if you stick your arm out in fencing, we call that a line. So you must point your sword at your opponent. But as you saw on the replay there, you must keep the sword pointed at the target area. You yeah, must exactly. be threatening, as they, they call it. If you move it or out of the way of the target area, trying to avoid your opponent's blade, you lose that right of way. That's yeah, exactly the point, what yeah you're, you're completely right. The, the, the point has to stay on the target, and uh, the opponent after has to, to, to beat on the blade to have the, the right to, to attack. Oh. And 10-10. <laughs> yeah, another, another attack there from Sameli. Sometimes I wonder how the referees call those ones. They seem so, so tight, but they more often than not do. Yeah, everybody, every, every fencer uh, no, no, uh, believes to, to be right. 
Well, uh, well I thought that uh, Lee was going to call for a video there. He decides not to. Uh, but Samelli says, well, all right, I'll call for a, a video because I think that was mine. We saw a replay there, but again, mm. angle's not perfect. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's just... He's changing his mind, Vassil Malenchev, ah. and he is giving it to Samelli. Well, for me, this, uh, this, is, this is a good judgment. He is a very nice judge because even if... He, he did. He, he gave a first decision. Yeah. After video, he's able to say, "Okay, uh, it's a mistake yeah. for me, and sorry, but video says this is the this, and, and I think it's clever. It's a good thing." And that's why we have the video, of course. You know, we yeah, do exactly. I, I know what you're saying here. Russell Malenchev is prepared to alter his initial decision. He's not too proud to say, "I didn't get it right." But we do see some referees absolutely stick to that decision. Yeah. Either for way. me, they are not the the the. the the best one. Well, 12 11 now. Samelli has just taken control of this one towards the end. Remember, the target score is 15. And another attack. We've seen that same move twice already in this fight. Samelli knows it works. He's just got to execute it perfectly and at the right time. He really has taken control at the right moment. Yeah, I am impressed um, about. Yeah, he's very quiet, very relaxed, and, uh, and he can extend his uh, arm. Is a very nice step and lunge. So, only one hit. And time and time again here in Cancun, we've seen fences come back from uh, this kind of deficit. Are we going to see it again? It doesn't look like it. It looks like Vassil Melenchev has awarded that as an attack. He's for done. He's done. And a big cheer. He wins his first ever Grand Prix. Luigi Semelli, at the age of 29, takes the gold medal for Italy. And what a brilliant match that was! Well, I say bravo because uh, you you said this before. He he didn't uh, he didn't win uh, two years uh, for for two years and um, and today this is a proof. If you continue to work and continue to believe, you can re-win and, um, and 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 uh, and a Grand Prix also. A Grand Prix, his first Grand Prix title. That's five out of six debutant winners in the first three Grand Prix of the season. Two in Turin, Faconi and Kiefer. Two in Doha. It was Bez Bez and Park and one here in Luigi Semelli. Uh, the only repeating winner, the Olympic champion Yana Igorian yesterday in the women's sabre. But it has been an absolute delight to see the fences come back from an Olympic Games. First Grand Prix of the season is done. Uh, all we've got uh, is the medal presentation coming up in about five, ten minutes' time. So, Pierre, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you very much. It's Pierre Guichot, our uh, Sabre analyst, and we wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. It was a big pleasure for me to join you, and uh, Merry Christmas. We'll definitely be having Pierre back. He knows his stuff when it comes to Sabre. I'm Karen Bashir. You're watching a live presentation of the Cancun Grand Prix. It's the first Sabre Grand Prix of the season. It's now done in terms of fencing, but we'll be back in 10 minutes with the medal presentation. Don't go far.